De Nederlandse choreografe Nanine Linning komt wel met een heel bijzonder project na Festival Schietmacher. Double Helix. Het is een museale performatieve installatie, zoals ze het noemen. Ze heeft het gemaakt met de internationaal vermaarde ontwerper en videokunstenaar Bart Hess. En het belooft een installatie te worden met performers waar je als publiek doorheen geleid wordt en dan van de ene ervaring in de andere ervaring valt. En het typeert Nanine ook wel dat ze zo interdisciplinair werkt. Ze was een van de eerste die afstudeerde als choreograaf van de lichting aan code, van Codarts eh, Hogeschool voor de Kunsten in Rotterdam. En meteen na haar opleiding richtte ze al haar eigen gezelschap op, Dance Company Nanine Linning. En ze werd bij Scapino Bolet Rotterdam in 2001 al aangesteld als de jongste huischoreograaf ooit. En misschien is de cirkel een beetje rond, want onlangs werd bekend dat ze in 2024 Ed Wubbe gaat opvolgen als, als artistiek directeur van dit oudste en vermaarde gezelschap in Nederland. Maar ook met haar eigen gezelschap heeft ze allerlei bijzondere projecten gemaakt. En ze werkt dus heel graag samen met kunstenaars, of dat nou modeontwerpers zijn, scenografen, componisten, uh, operaregisseurs. Ze heeft flinke stappen gezet, ze heeft haar eigen carrière een enorme boost gegeven door naar Duitsland te vertrekken. Daar heeft ze dansgezelschappen geleid in grote theaterhuizen van Osnabrück en Heidelberg. En daar kon ze ook echt uitpakken. Dus daar heeft ze opera's geonsceneerd, interdisciplinaire voorstellingen gemaakt. En na die Duitse periode komt ze nu weer terug uh, naar Nederland. En het is bijzonder dat dit museale project, dit performatieve project in Aken te zien is. Want het gaat eigenlijk ook over de industriële toekomst van de mens. Over de grenzen die we op kunnen rekken van ons mensheid door middel van technologie. Dus het is een project dat zowel mens en machine bij elkaar brengt, filosofie en technologie bij elkaar brengt en waarin ook allerlei materiaalstudies, een van de kenmerken die Bart Hess ook zo groot heeft gemaakt, een heleboel materiaalstudies zitten erin, bewegingsstudies zitten erin en dat vloeit samen in een installatie die vernoemd is naar die double helix van ons genetisch DNA. We spraken dan niet over deze bijzondere samenwerking met Bart Hess en deze unieke museale performatieve installatie. Double Helix is, is exactly the crossroad between a dance performance and an experience uh, of a museum. So audience uh, is guided um, through several rooms in which you can experience uh, installations uh, of um, uh, around 20 dancers who are um, connected with different uh, objects. And uh, through, through that world, you, you have a journey um, about the, 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 the hybridization and the, uh, of uh, technology and, uh, and humanity. And this, this everlasting drive for for uh, eternal life and, and optimization of our bodies and you mentioned 20 dancers and can we come really close to them yes uh, when you are entering uh, a room um, you can move freely like in a museum you can decide where you want to go how long you want to stay and how you want to interact with these installations for me one of the, the 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 beautiful quotes is everyone wants to become old but no one wants to be old so it is all about this search for perfection which is driving the development of evolution um we want to optimize ourselves and we 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 look for for technology we develop technology which is sort of in enhancing us and um, slowly we we would like to see the body closer to a machine something we have control over we can um, uh, fix when it's uh, broken um, and also 
you know, a question within that topic is, okay, what, what, what still exists then in this far future, the autonomous body, does we, do, do we still know that in 100 years? Um, what happens when technology enters the body? Who, who controls that technology? Whose data is that? Is that big uh, data? Is, is, is that Facebook? Is that, uh, um, you know, governments? So um, this, this whole idea is um, um, we, we, we feel we're not enough as, as we are. Um, and uh, of course, I am very excited about these questions. I am also very critical of it, of the lack of those questions in society do because technology and <clears throat> what is uh, explored by scientists is, is, is phenomenal, but it's constantly pushing the boundaries. And where is our societal dialogue between us? Do we want this? What does that mean? Once we, we come to that crossroad, we can no longer go back um, and if you enhance yourself I feel almost a pressure that I should also enhance myself or my children so they can participate in 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 society so if we really want to alter our DNA and and therefore change our uh, authenticity who who are we who who am I in the future you know and so this is what driving me these scientific pro propositions and um, Bart and me became fascinated and found each other to, to, to talk about this. You are collaborating with Bart Hess for this project, a designer and a video artist. What is so special about the work of Bart Hess? What I love about Bart Hess and the work he has uh, created is an um is is showing us possibilities showing us something which might not be real but we want to believe in it um showing uh proposals of how you know a species could function or live or operate or behave and um our dialogue um, stems from uh, a couple of years ago when we started our topic um, and, and we make a, made a production which was called Silver, where uh, we were very inspired by robotics and artificial intelligence. And then, you know, our stories evolved and we said, can we find um, a format where the audience can be further emerged? And, um, and that is a very uh, exciting uh, challenge because for me, this is home. This is what I've been doing with um, so many of my, my projects. But for Bart, he, his work lives in the digital space. He makes photos and videos. They're highly um, tweaked. Nothing is, is real. It's all the illusion. Um, so how could we bring his sort of digitalized world into reality? And um, that's, I think, where we had a perfect match in, in me having the, the flesh and blood and he has having the skin, the outside. And how could we bring those together in one work? Uh, if we look back in history and we look at the, you know, the, the art form of science fiction, it started as visionary artists inspired by visionary uh, um, scientists. And today that reality is how our children grow up. It is, it did become real. So I think that, that science and art is, is very close and where it's like, this is where the title comes from. It is like a double helix. It constantly rotates around each other. We are the visionaries of this society thinking forward about potential possibilities, suggestions, uh, opening doors. And um, I find that extremely uh, inspiring as an artist to relate to, to that scientific um, um, world um, I, I've been offer, offered. And to uh, bring that into my work is very inspiring. In 2024, 
you will succeed at Wubbe as artistic director of Scapina Valley Rotterdam. So does it feel like a little bit like coming home after all your big artistic adventures in Germany, in uh, in Boston and in other uh, countries when you're coming back to Holland? Um, a little bit yes and a little bit no. Um, uh, although I have been creating uh, a lot of uh, work and I had to uh, set up my company in Germany uh, where I'm still based, um, I've been working in, in so many uh, countries yet I did a great effort to keep my work visible for the Dutch audience. My audience in the Netherlands has been so loyal and um, eager to, to keep following what I, I did. So whenever I could, I brought um, my, my company uh, into the theaters in, in the Netherlands. So in that sense, I've been a, 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 um, a voice in that landscape, although maybe more as an outsider and uh, also as an, uh, a, a pro, you know, producing in another country rather than in the Netherlands. So, but now my my home base will be Rotterdam, and my um, yeah, from which I you know build a, a, and create a vision um, within the dance uh, community in the Netherlands. But also going you know back to all these places i've been working uh for with with scapino Bella and bringing that to to other countries um so i think it's you know it's um how we as artists live today there there is no boundary there is no such thing as nationality or um working with countries it's very much about relationships and um my relationship with scapino has been um uh, and still is very warm and um, and full of joy. And also, your your work looks like it doesn't has any boundaries. Like uh, it's it's combining choreography, like visual artists, like uh, music, like singing, like uh, um, the complete Gesamtkunstwerk, more or less. Thank you, Nanine. We are looking forward to see Double Helix in Schrietmacher, and of course a lot of performance you're going to make with Capina Belly Rotterdam in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Annette.